Guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today as I make a liquid soap for you. I really enjoy making liquid soaps. They have in the past given me a lot of trouble. I have uh, bought the Ultimate Guide to Liquid Soap ebook and it's just a great knowledge that they share in this ebook. There are several formulas in the book though, and that's one of the things I really appreciate because liquid soaps are so intimidating. That ebook will be listed down below in the description box, along with a little bit of a discount code for you guys if you wanna use that. It's not an affiliate link. I get paid nothing for you buying. It's just that I love the book and I love to share. So the reason why I'm making this last liquid soap is I have recently made some lotions that I want to do a combo set with. So I made a lavender and a sea salt and orchid lotion. I will link that at the end of the video. If you haven't checked that out, you can check that out at the end of this one. I am using uh, the clear, clear, ultra clear, formula from their book, but I don't have grapeseed. I don't have almond. I kind of swapped those out. So in my pot here, I have safflower oil, babusa oil, which I'm happy this is coconut free for those, Shay. Those of you that can't use coconut, this is a coconut free version of the soap. There's castor oil and avocado oil. I have my water and glycerin in my uh, lye pitcher here. I'm going to let these get very hot, 215, 220, and then I'll bring the camera down and we will move forward with this soap. So this is 226. So I am going to get my rubber gloves on. I'm going to add my sodium lactate in here and some sugar. So the sugar will not dissolve, guys. It's not, you know, oil soluble. But I go ahead and just add it and it will it will go when it's ready. In here, I don't know if I told you my water and glycerin. I'm gonna go ahead and get my lies in here. So this is just some random liquid soap I made earlier this this fall, the spring, fall summer, I don't remember. And that adding that to the pot will just help it uh, come to trace faster. Everything is in here that needs to be in here. I'm going to get my stick blender in there. And let's see what happens with these. I'm gonna fast forward this part like I normally do. Alexa, shut timer off. That was exactly three minutes right there. I'm gonna go another 30 seconds now that it's really liquidy. Lid on. I'm gonna be cooking this for another three to five minutes. Look at that, guys. It looks lovely. I'm gonna make sure this is neutral and done cooking. And I'm just gonna use my pH strips here for this. That's 
that's right between eight and nine. So I'm gonna call that an eight and a half, which is fine. You want it above eight. I have 1,720 grams of soap paste in here, and I am going to do that same amount of dilution. My first half is good to go. Get it in there. Ooh, look at that boil. I'm gonna go ahead and get the second half in the microwave while I'm working. Hang on just a second. All right, let me see if I, this is gonna be, ah! Mm, I'm supposed to stick blend it. I don't think that's gonna happen, guys. Look at that. All right, let's bring it up to speed, guys. I got it almost completely dissolved. There was a few little bits in there, but I went ahead and added a little bit more water because I wanted about a 45% uh, paste to water ratio. And I, I Alexa helped me. <laughs> we, we came up with how much water. Oh my gosh. Should not have said her name. <laughs> We came up with the dilution for a 45% soap paste, and I just stick blended it in, and I broke up all that soap paste. It was completely clear other than the soap paste. That is what I was looking for, and so now it's done. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm just gonna let this cool with the lid on. I don't wanna lose any of that water I just added, so probably let it sit overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and take a look at it. I just have to share. <laughs> it's been about 45 minutes and I came down here just to look at it. Look how clear that is. That is clear. Love it. Well, it has been, what, like a week or so since I left you here. And this has just been sitting in my, in my uh, basement on the pool table <laughs> along with everything else I have out there. First things first, I am going to, it's very liquidy. So I'm just going to add one ounce of Crothix. I know I'm going to have to add more than that, but I already uh, made or clicked made this batch in my SoapMaker 3 software. And I did put, go ahead and, and show that I put an ounce of Crothix in the whole pot. So that's what I'm going to do. So that is correct. I will be right back. And Crothix is a thickener, in case you are wondering what that is. It's just a, a thickener. It's my favorite thickener to use. It may be a little more pricey than other things, but I find the best uh, outcome with it. So I like Crothix. So I'll be right back. It may cloud it up just a little bit. And it is a tiny bit, but not nothing too crazy. And then... I'm going to go ahead and just weigh this all off in a big picture to see exactly what I have in here. And I'll probably split it in half from there, but I really want to get a better feel for exactly how much I have. I have half of it here, and I'm going to add a little bit more Crothix. So I think uh, you can go up to 5% on your Crothix, but I usually stick to 2 sometimes 3%. And I probably should have added my fragrance oil first, but... I have used this fragrance oil in soap, in my liquid soaps before, so I know that I will need to add a, a decent amount of Crothix, but I really do like to add my fragrance oil first. Mmm, that smells so good. <laughs> uh, see how cloudy it is now, adding that fragrance oil? A little bit of 99% rubbing alcohol. I'm just going to spritz the top and that gets rid of those bubbles so I can kind of see what I'm doing in here. I think it's plenty thick enough. 2% Crothex. I think that's plenty for sea salt orchid. So I'm going to just set this aside and I'm going to put my bottle next to it just to keep keep that straight and let's get the lavender. Hey guys it's almost it's so full. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I'm gonna put my lavender essential oil in here. 
I don't remember if I told you guys I did uh, preserve this off camera when I realized when I went to go put the Crothix in I thought oh no I didn't I didn't put the preservative in it uh, so I did 1% uh, of liquid dermal plus so that is 2% of lavender essential oil And I usually use fragrance oil, so I'm not sure what this is going to do to the thickness of it. Actually, this essential oil seems to have thickened it just a little bit. I am going to add a half a percent of crow thick, so this total in this one will be one and a half percent. I tell you what, having A-L-E-X-A -E in this room <laughs> saves me so much. I'm always asking her, I can't say her name or she'll start talking to me. I'm always asking her, you know, what's, what is percent of this? What's the half of this? She does all my math for me, guys. I think that's a lovely thickness. Not mad at that a bit. And I am going to set this aside and just let these kind of, Kind of chill for just a, maybe a half an hour at most, uh, just to just to settle in. I'm gonna stir them every so often. Just make sure that fragrance oil and essential oil are super well blended. All right, so here's the lavender, nice and quite lovely. I did go ahead. You can see it's a little bit looser. I did go ahead and add a half another percent of the crothix to that. Uh, sea salt orchid. I'm going to call it good. And oh, let's see about getting these filled. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go eight and a half. So I got splitting this in half. I didn't really want to have any on my shelf, um, which a lot of times I will just keep a jug on my shelf uh, unscented. I really didn't want to do that because if you haven't heard, everything's leaving this room and I'm trying to use up as much as I can the things that are just laying around. So I went ahead and split it all off so I don't have any uh, extra. That is perfect. That is nine ounces. That's exactly what I put in my plastic jars. I'm going to take a little bit of my 99% rubbing alcohol and just try to get rid of some of that bubbles that have formed on the rim. All right, I have them all bottled. So let's take a look at how I label these. So this is my label. So I designed this in Canva and then I print it off just your standard weatherproof sheets from online label, just the 8 by 11 sheets I get and then I cut it out by hand. Uh, I just think my sea salt orchid is so pretty. I love this one so so much. And so I am going to get to the last of these labeled. I just eyeball this guys. Eyeballing for me works a lot better. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Then trying to line it up. I may do a Canva tutorial on how I created these labels. If you're interested in that, let me know down below just so I know I'm giving you guys what you are interested in or wanting. I do enjoy creating labels and designing. That's part of, part of my job, really, and it's something I do enjoy quite a lot. Oops, that one's not very good, is it? I tried to keep it low so you could see what I was doing. <laughs> and for my liquid soaps, I ended up having just enough liquid soap to do a plastic bottle and an extra glass bottle. And it used my last two of my frosted bottles, so I do not have any bottles left. I actually think I'm completely out of these as well. And honestly, I'm not sure I'm gonna bring them back. That's gonna be a big maybe on my part. I had to resize, because this is a completely different size label as opposed to that. The 
these take an awful lot of room of space for me um, I'm just not sure that they're worth it so I'm not sure I'm going to be bringing any of the liquid soaps or the lotions back in in my line but I never say never or I try not to say never anymore <laughs> but to make this anywhere close to being cost effective for me to make these and sell these I do have to buy these in bulk so just trying to find space for all these bottles and jars and everything to buy in bulk just to get your price point low enough that you can make a profit takes up so much space. All right, there they are. I think these bottles are so pretty, guys. I love the frosted glass bottles. And check this out with my lotion. Isn't that going to be great? I'm really, really happy with that. I love my labels. I just think this is really fun and uh, quite pretty. Here's my lavender. I love it. Love it, love it. So look at the difference in the colors. That is, this is the same soap. And look at that. That's just a fragrance oil that did that. Isn't that crazy? I have my lotions. I have my liquid soaps. Next up, pictures. So guys, I'm going to go get pictures taken. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I don't know what it's going to be. I have no idea. It's a surprise to you and me. But whatever it is, I hope you're there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.